Hi, the biasing methods make transistor to work in mainly three regions of operation. That is cutoff, saturation and acting. Let us study the regions of operations of BJT. We will see initially the basic fundamentals. We will first understand the meaning of the terms cutoff, saturation and acting. Let us see the circuit. Circuit is made up of 10 volt supply, one resistance of 1 kilo ohm. Two terminals A and B are kept open. So the resistance between these two terminals, that is RAB, is equal to infinite ohm. If I now calculate the current I, obviously this current would be equal to 0 because there is no conducting path. So I is equal to 0 milliampere. And if I measure the voltage across A and B, that voltage would be equal to 10 volt. So this is shown here. So VAB is equal to 10 volt and current is equal to 0 milliampere. And this particular condition, let us name it as cutoff. Now let us go to the second term that is saturation. For that, again we will draw the same diagram. Only change made is we are now shorting the terminals A and B. And if I now calculate the current I, current I would be equal to 10 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm, that is equal to 10 milliampere. And if I measure the voltage across A and B VAB, that is equal to 0 volt because VAB is equal to current into resistance according to Ohm's law. But resistance across A and B is 0 ohms, so the voltage across A and B would be equal to 0 volt. So, that is shown here. So in this case, what we are getting is, we are getting is VAB equal to 0 volt and current is maximum. In this case, we are getting that current is equal to 10 milliampere. So this particular condition is known as saturation. Now let us go for the third condition that is acting. Now in this case, what we are doing, same circuit is used. Now between A and B, we are going to connect one variable resistance RAB. We can take value of RAB from 0 ohm to infinite ohm. Any intermediate value between 0 ohm and infinite ohm. So we are taking for understanding purposes only three values. You can take more value. What we are getting here, if RAB is equal to 1 kilo ohm, if RAB is equal to 1 kilo ohm, then what is going to happen? See, when RAB is 1 kilo ohm, so that is shown here. So the total resistance of the circuit becomes 2 kilo ohm. So if I calculate now I, so I becomes 5 milliampere. And if I is 5 milliampere, I can get VAB is equal to 5 volt because VAB is equal to I into RAB. So when RAB is 1, so I am getting I is equal to 5 and VAB is equal to 5. Now if I take RAB is equal to 2 kilo ohm and if I calculate the value of I and VAB then I will get I as 3.33 milliampere and VAB is equal to 6.66 volt. I get these values using same formula which I used for 1 kilo ohm. If I take RAB is equal to 0 0.5 kilo ohms I will get I is equal to 6.66 milliampere and VAB is equal to 3.33 volt. For understanding purpose, I have taken only three values here. You can take many values. Only we have to understand the concept. Active mode is that mode which is in between cutoff and saturation. Cutoff has got one value. Saturation has got one value. Active mode can have more number of values. Now these three conditions are shown on the graph and this graph is drawn between VAB that is the voltage across A and B and current I. Now so let us see we will draw all these conditions on the graph. We will start with first cutoff. Now in cutoff what we have seen in cutoff current is 0 milliampere that is I is 0 and VAB is maximum. What is the value of VAB here? 10 volt. What is the value of I? 0 milliampere. If I want to draw this point on the graph, so this point would be 
this one. Right. Now this particular point is for cutoff. So that we have written at that time i is equal to 0 million. Now I want to draw the point for saturation. Now saturation means what? Voltage is 0. That means VAB is 0 but current is 10 million. Now if I want to draw this point on the graph, this point is drawn like this. This is the point for saturation. So it is written saturation current is maximum. Now we will connect these two points. Now my active mode means intermediate values. These are the values between cutoff and saturation. So active mode is shown here. So active mode is basically we can take any value from cutoff to saturation. We cannot take value of cutoff, we cannot take value of saturation, we can take values in between cutoff and saturation. That particular region is known as active region. This particular line is known as load line. Now that is what is the concept of cutoff, saturation and active. Now this concept we will uh, take it to BJT and when we connect BJT then we will come to know what is cutoff, saturation and active. So, if we connect now BJT, that is bipolar junction transistor, between the point A and B, okay, then we can vary the resistance of BJT and we will get the same condition, that is cutoff, saturation, active. How? That we will see in the next slide. We will see in the beginning the working of BJT in short and then we will go for the regions of operations of BJT. In BJT, the collector current IC is directly proportional to IB. That means if IB increases, IC increases. If IB decreases, IC decreases. So that is shown below. So in BJT, IC is directly proportional to IB. In other words, we can say that when IB increases, that means when we increase IB, the resistance of the BJT decreases. So resistance of BJT decreases. And when IB decreases, the resistance of the BJT increases. So we can write resistance of BJT is inversely proportional to IB. Now these two equations will take us to the terms cutoff, saturation and active. See, now we will go to the diagram. What is shown here? One supply of 10 volts, resistance of 1 kilo ohm and BJT is connected between two terminals. Now we will see in this diagram, we will get the three conditions that is cutoff, saturation and active. Now see, if IB is equal to 0 milliamp, so nothing is connected at the base terminal. When IB is 0, now IB is inversely proportional to the resistance. That means the resistance of the BJT is infinite. So when resistance is infinite, there is no current flowing in the circuit. That is what is we have seen in the first slide. So when resistance is infinite, IC is zero. That is our cutoff condition. Now let us take the next. When IB is maximum, so when IB is maximum, so resistance has to be minimum. So if IB is maximum, let us say resistance is zero. That means maximum current IC will flow. This condition is known as saturation. And if I keep IB between cutoff and saturation, that is my active mode because I am keeping the value of IB intermediate. All these three conditions are shown here. So from this what we get is when IB is equal to 0, IC is equal to 0, that is cutoff. When IB is equal to maximum, IC is equal to maximum, that is saturation. 
And finally, IB is equal to moderate, I get active mode. Now see the graph which is shown there. Now in the graph, if you see cutoff, that is the point when IC is zero. Saturation when IC is maximum. And active, that is when IC is intermediate. So whatever we have seen in the first slide, same thing we are getting it here. In first slide, we are connecting resistance between A and B manually. Here we are connecting BJT and its resistance is varied with the help of IB. So this circuit works similar to the circuit which is shown in the first slide. So here the points which are shown, that is the cutoff point, then saturation point and the active point, these points are known as operating point and the line which is shown that is known as DC load line. Now BJT is used as a switch and it is used as an amplifier in the electronic circuit. You will see that in the next slide. Now see this diagram. In this diagram, a 10 volt battery is connected and in series with it one bulb, one resistance of 1 kilo ohm and BJT is connected. Now we will see the three conditions cutoff, saturation and active. See the waveform which is a pulse waveform is applied at the base. What is the pulse waveform? It has got two values. Either it can be low, that is 0 volt, or it can be high, that is equal to 5 volts. So, this is what is shown. So, this is your low value and this is what is your high value. Now, when it is 0 volt, so when pulse is at low level, then my bulb is off. This bulb is off because no signal is connected at the base. So IB is zero. When IB is zero, that means IC is zero. And when IC is zero, so no current is flowing through the bulb. So bulb is off. That is what is known as cutoff. When I apply now five holes, that means now my IB is maximum. So obviously my IC would also be maximum. So when I apply five holes, I get bulb is on because I see is flowing. This condition is known as saturation. Now, when transistor is operated either in cutoff or in saturation, at that time transistor is working as a switch. Now, if you want to work transistor in the active mode, we have to give a intermediate value. Now this is shown by one line. So this line indicates that the voltage which is applied at the base is in between 0 and 5 volt. So this is a continuous voltage. We can say it is a 2.5 volt. Due to this, so IB is then moderate. So when IB is moderate, IC is also moderate and current is continuously flowing in the bulb and that particular region we will name it as active and active mode the operation of the BJT in active mode is used in the amplifier so BJT can be used as a switch or BJT can be used as an amplifier thank you for watching my video if you are satisfied with the information given, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you once again.